This is Maswe Chikimbuso, the black Elon Musk. He has so many inventions, yet he is not known. Why is this? First, let's watch these clips and I will explain. Pay attention. This African man from Zimbabwe is doing incredible things. He invented an electric car that ran without battery and without recharging. A flat screen TV that works perfectly without electricity. A helicopter that flies without fuel. And as if that's not enough, this man created a technology that turns radio frequencies into electricity. What? The sad part of this is Maxwell Chikimboxo has had three assassinations attempts on his life. And when he filed for a patent for his work, it was rejected. Clearly because his genius can weaken the economy of the superpowers to the benefits of Africa. A brief trip into the future with inventor Maxwell Chikumbuzo. He's claiming a scientific breakthrough with this green energy technology, an electric car which he says converts radio frequencies into energy. The powertrain, we did it in-house, uh, which makes it uh, the, fa the first electric vehicle in the world that drives without needing recharging sy systems. On the greener power off-grid machine, it's very uh, unique for the first time uh, energy is being generated uh, using a radio frequency and without moving paths. Chikumbutso is not the typical scientist. He dropped out of school aged 14 and says he's developed his blueprints through research and visions from God. A showroom in Harare showcases his prototypes. A helicopter that operates using any one of the five fuels, including paraffin, a drone and a household transformer that he says can multiply power a hundredfold. But he says breaking his disruptive technology into the world has not been easy. He's failed to patent his work. That's why we end up finding nuclear scientists, electromagnetic professors, so that they can assist us on the patent process. But as you are aware that um, in patents, anything that violates the laws of physics is not an industrial applicable solution. They classify it as a perpetual motion device. Luis Kupenala, a South African-based Angolan businessman, has poured millions into the project, but now believes it's time to commercialize. He says the Angolan government and a Brazil private energy player have signed up to buy some of their products, but that other investors don't generally believe anything credible can come out of Africa. We just sell from our skin color. We don't believe on ourselves. But obviously a, a new generation has another responsibility to change this kind of paradigm to another level whereby we have to capitalize on our abilities in Africa. Zimbabwean scientists who spoke to the SABC also expressed skepticism. But Chikumbutso brushes the naysayers aside. He says he's determined to ensure that his God-given gift brings energy to light up the continent and put Zimbabwe on the technological map. Shingai Nyoka, SABC News, Harare, Zimbabwe. This Zimbabwe guy invented a self-powered TV, a TV that is not powered by by generator, is not powered by batteries, is not powered by any electricity. It is only powered by radio frequencies. How was that possible? And the best part is that this guy did not even go to school. Everything was from here. I told you that Western education came to confuse us. First of all, they, come, they came with the language. The language makes us confuse even the words. One of Zimbabwe's most celebrated technopreneurs, Max Wachikumbuzo, has once again come up with a masterstroke innovation. And this time, it is an embedded wireless power generator that uses radio frequency to power a television set. Chikumbuzo demonstrated his latest innovation to a ZBC News crew at his base in Harare, whereby a TV does not need electricity connection for it to function. Yeah, this is our self-powered TV that we have uh, designed, the first in the world to have such kind of a technology where a television is powered with a radio frequency. So as you can see right now I'm powering this television. Uh, so this is the first uh, television in the world that uses self power to say. It is all in one. You don't need to put it on electricity or on solar panel or anything. As it is, it is a complete solution. Behind the television, you can see that there is a microphone and, 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 device. This an box. African man will this is the device that is converting radio frequencies into pure years, energy. And he doesn't even As know you can more. see, the power me, how of the cable he, how can was supposed to be here. On all traditional televisions, power comes here, but there is no power as you can see. 
when the you television know, is you don't even know what it is works. working as it is so in layman i think Imagine this television you know, is a uh, we use and study all we can call it a it would be easy because it's self-powered be more relatable television to, to it our is indeed an exciting innovation that comes in handy for households just look at this young guy electricity everything against the law of physics to many against physics even our they want to she could they, also they, continue I think to they want fly the Zimbabwean flag high in the world of innovation. And this latest offering will Hi. put the Just I want you to watch this video and make sure you share it. Technological because I believe Africa will rise if we go back indigenously. If we had believe in ourselves. Watching this and you know that the last What's thing this man needs to do, do over is let anyone buy years. this idea from him. Available. Like he needs to be in full Practicing control. He needs to have like full autonomy of his his idea and in his invention. So can say, there is a fear of Africa, him getting bought out, which I have. Let me know down below if you have it. You know, don't buy it, and then all of a sudden, it's not a black person who invented it anymore. We know how what you know all this thing go. So there is that fear, and there is also the fear of the electrical companies not going to like this idea very much because this would literally put them out of business. If radio frequency could be converted into energy and used to power a TV the question is what more could we use this method empowering they're not going to like this very much if we're being honest nobody's going to be needing electrical companies anymore and they're going to have to take a major L and they are going to have to go out of business so they're really not going to like this idea very much and we already see a lot of people talking about protect this man protect this man protect this man there's a lot of comments talking about protect this man like you can see on the screen like I went on Instagram and I saw this man talking about how he was poisoned like what a scary world we live in i couldn't find the comments anymore i don't know why i did not screenshot it at the time but this is a comment from him as well as you can see on the screen he says cover me in prayers the cabals are not happy so this man does need like full-on deck 247 protection like he's his life is literally in danger and we also have to talk about the fact that not only has he invented a tv that doesn't need electricity he also has invented a vehicle that doesn't need electricity or fuel or water or nothing like the, the, the vehicle literally doesn't need anything to start moving so we are we are looking at a man who is in like serious danger so i want to bring this story to you guys you know spread the word put the story out there so more people could know about what's going on and this brings a lot of pride to the continent it brings a lot of pride to our people it brings a lot of pride to you know the zimbabweans such an invention coming out from zimbabwe really would positively put the country out there you know we do need to put him in our prayers because a brother does need protection and prayers like he needs a lot of it i can't wait for his inventions his products to hit the market because you know we're supporting black businesses here we're supporting our people that's how we're moving now we're moving now knowing that you know these are the people we need to be supporting we need to we need to keep those dollars those pounds those nairas and you know where it matters which is in our pockets in our people's pockets that's that's where it matters where we are done we are done giving other people money not anymore so i hope whatever holds they want to have on him will not prevail whatever evil they are presently plotting because we know they are plotting this obviously is not on their favor in numerous ways first of all a black man creating stuff mm -hmm, they don't like that they don't like that second of all is a black man creating stuff that's going to take money out of their pockets so they don't like that now times 100 they, they don't like it at all so yeah um let me know down below in the comment section what you think i am super proud of this man i'm super proud you know um it's our people doing stuff not that we haven't been doing stuff we have been but you know how they make it seem you know how they do you know how they roll to make it seem like we don't because they literally steal so i'm going to leave this one here i'll see you guys in the next one and in the comments down below let's not forget to pray 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 for this man because he does need our prayers um yeah thank you very much for watching guys do have a lovely day
at uh, radio frequencies when people the ordinary person wants to know mm. what's this radio fre frequency mm. that you are harnessing where does it come from and is it not finite uh, will i n will we not have the, this machine and one day not have radio frequencies mm. to harness <laughs> you know when god created uh, the earth he put some electromagnetic frequencies as they are better known uh, i think if you had a number of guys from nasa when uh, they are going to the moon they have got a challenge of passing through some microwave frequency uh, energy so we are taking what god has created uh, unfortunately we have classified the the frequency the particular frequency that we are using for some security reasons is you know that we failed to file a patent because they said we are violating the laws of physics so it's not industrial applicable mm. uh, because of that we went the trade secret route where we took some pieces of the machine and uh, classified them as trade secrets mm. just like what coca-cola did the next question i was getting was why isn't it getting support from the government or other business people in the country this is what maxwell had to say have you been supported locally uh, do you think you've been supported adequately here in the country um and and if so how if not what else would you have expected you know it's sad but that is a i think it's a penny for reality of life mm. uh, most of these inventors or people who who achieve some other things they are not recognized in their countries yes i would want to say that i did not get the support that i thought i would get i've been to zimbabwe science and technologies uh, so many uh, institutes i never got any form of support being moral or um, technical not necessarily mean i was looking for financial support no but you see that uh, god brought people from outside the country my f the first person that i work with like i said was zek wazara uh, i thank god for him he did quite a lot then later on i work with, i worked with the, the late dr teddy de omeda he was an angolan uh, he is the first person who did uh, who helped me in a in a bigger way to say and his partner uh, mr luis penala then he passed on in 2017 uh, we were recognized in the united states of america to say like i have said you have seen the americans they had to come to zimbabwe they flown in their scientists they did a validation they confirmed the machine is working they started to help us we never got the that kind of recognition or support here in zimbabwe as far as as, as i'm concerned we have got a, a number of very educated people yes i thank god for few people uh, the vice chancellor for it he sit on my board he's my advisor engineer quinto can come he's one of a kind mm. like i'm saying uh, he came to me uh, he, he started to guide me how best i would perfect my technologies but when we look at a country like zimbabwe with a lot of education educated people he was the only one who came mm. not even the government mm. came to support mm. so i think uh, we need to start support our own it's not easy this journey has been very long um, sometimes we don't need money as investors we just need as inventors to Maswa Chikimbuso is a name synonymous with innovation and renewable energy solutions. Born in Zimbabwe, he has dedicated his life to creating technologies that not only push the boundaries of what is possible but also have the potential to change the world. The 43 years old Zimbabwean inventor and innovator is best known for developing a green power generator which can produce electricity using radio frequency. His activities are generally referred to as wireless energy transmission innovation which includes a long line of inventions, hybrid engine powered helicopter, an electric car, a magnetic converter, a green power generator and a drone which are products of the company he founded and named Z Technologies. This gifted innovator dropped out of school Zivarasekwa II High School in Arari, Zimbabwe when in Form 2 and it was then aged between 13 and 14. The self-taught scientists therefore made groundbreaking moves to enter the highly competitive aviation and high-tech global entrepreneurial ecosystem. With all these inventions, he clinched huge deals for his products in various parts of the world. His magnetic converters, green power generators, drones and automatic disinfecting machines are in high demand. 
He adds that he worked on that machine after watching how much difficulty his country experienced in disinfecting public places during the pandemic. Chikumbuto's main ambition is to combine scientific invention and top-notch business. The set technologies that started modestly has the potential to grow into a billion-dollar company that supplies electric cars, helicopters, telecom solutions, security and surveillance, UAVs, traffic safety and lightning products as well as MSED powered, a self-powered device, home light using wireless energy transmission. One factor that makes this discovery unique is that most of them are based on rudimentary materials gathered from Harare's popular Seattle market. Chikumbuso turned such basic stuff into highly engineered materials and he is said to have been snatched by the US because of his talent in 2017. A fact that he recounts in these terms, the US government saw what Africa did not. Then he add, I always love Africa and I'm so proud of being born and raised in Africa. I will surely come back to Zimbabwe where everything started. Part of his sufferings stems from the fact that he did not get encouragement and validation from his own people when he needed that. Maxwell's journey has not been without its challenges. Sadly, in May 2021, Maxwell's company announced that the inventor experienced the third attack on his life and they issued a statement on Facebook soliciting prayers for the genius, who according to them was fighting to regain his health after he had been poisoned. His latest invention is a self-powered television, which is really all-in-one. It works without electricity or solar panel. It just has a device that converts radio frequency into pure energy. Masue Chikimbuso's life, work and difficulties make me think once more about the legendary mistake that Africa has been making by ignoring skilled person on the continent. Masue Chikimbuso's story is a testament to the power of innovation and human perseverance. His inventions are not only cutting edge, but have the potential to address some of the most pressing issues facing our world today. As we conclude today's video, let's take a moment to appreciate the brilliance of Maswe Chikumbuso and the positive impact his inventions can have on our planet.